Hi guys! I'm back with a new video and I'm gonna start this one off a little bit different here. Hopefully this won't take too long to explain. I wanted to do this set of photos for the next mini kit Monday. I feel like my scrapping has been in a bit of a transition as of late. I don't know if you can catch all of it. So what I'm doing here is I had laid out these photos to play with them and I knew the kit that I was using already, of course, duh, right? So then I started playing with the embellishments to see if I can get myself going. Sometimes I feel like um, the subject matter in my photos kind of stops me a little bit because I feel like I have to be a little too literal. This one, uh, this event in particular is a family reading fun night and we were, were invited to my child's school to take a book and just everybody reads. There's like a, a little play that they do and then and it's being read out of a book and they act it out and then people take time to pick books out of boxes that they have at the library and uh, mainly the kids and then you read with the kids or the kids read to you and it's just it's just one of those things where they have fun and my son I think this is like the second or third time we've gone with him and he's had a lot of fun doing this <laughs> so I really enjoy that um, the school uh, promotes reading and that he enjoys reading books and then my, my little one who's not in school yet has also been inspired by my older son you know to read on his own and so here um, is where I put all these embellishments and I played along with them and I'm still trying to see if this is something that I want to do I realized that this might become a two-page spread and I might split it here and then do this one but I know that I'm gonna add the title up here and then maybe even the journaling across this way. So I already have some sort of idea of what I wanna do. I already know that I wanna mat the photos and so I already have, I already designated the, the paper to the picture. So that one's gonna go there and then I'm just gonna go down the line like this. And so this one's gonna have that one and then this one's gonna be matted by that one. This colorful one's gonna have the one with the teacher and then this solid one is gonna have my son it's gonna mat that photo of my son and so I already know that I'm gonna do that and then the one thing that I did have a hard time doing or thinking about was I wanted some sort of wood grain and so I went looking through my stack this comes from the gilded stack from die cuts with a few and what I don't know yet that I'm gonna do is either mat it this way I think the opposite so I'm gonna cut this in half and this in half right here and this is what I've been doing lately for 12 by 12 pages. So it's gonna have, it's gonna look like that pretty much. And then, or wait, like this. Like the inside of the page is gonna have six inches. This side is gonna, half of the page is gonna have six inches of this. And then the other wood grain is gonna come out on this side too. I hope that made sense. So anyway, that's my thought process. So I work a little backwards sometimes and sometimes I just work with the paper and start it off, but this was the part that was holding me up that I didn't know what paper I was gonna use and the fact that I was limiting myself to the pattern paper that was just in the stack was kind of giving me a hard time. So I just went and looked for a wood grain because uh, it's here and here and I wanted it elsewhere. So yep, we're going to go ahead and continue on with uh, making the layout. All right, so here what I start doing is I'm collecting all the clustered embellishments together by by cluster. <laughs> and I'm picking up all of that because I want to put together the paper that I had picked out because I'm going to I'm about to split them in half uh, into two, four, six by twelves or Actually, here I start with the photographs and their backgrounds since I already know uh, the background papers that I'm using them for. And I don't make you watch me mat all the photographs. I just figured it's uh, good to include that sometimes. Uh, I, I was saying there that it came out all right. But near enough is perfect for me. So here you see my four 6 by 12s and you see that I had, uh, you don't see that I had put them together, but they are already put together. And I don't know why my camera is going in and out there, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm gluing my washi tape just at the ends. 
uh, to the back of this patterned paper that I'm using as a, like almost like a reinforcement. I didn't want something super thick for the washi because I still wanted to have that feel. Um, and I didn't want it to feel like it was the actual card stock weight. I don't know if that makes a difference. I honestly haven't tried that. But in my head, it made perfect sense to use a thinner type of patterned paper in order for me to do that. So here I'm doing the same thing. I'm using this washi to uh, hide the, the, what do you call it when you merge two photographs? The seam. Something about a seam. And uh, on the on the ends of the 12 by 24 layout, I decided to use a, a geometric Heidi Swamp uh, washi tape. And I also used a Fiskars punch on it and I punched out a border. And I just thought that that kind of hugged all the photos and all the embellishments together. And it also brought in some blue. Sorry about that. My son walked into the room and he didn't know that I was doing a voiceover. <laughs> So what I wanted to tell you about this part right here is that the middle photo that kind of goes through the two pattern papers or the two 12 by 12s, I was going to split in half and that was my thought process right at the beginning of the page. I did have colored doilies, uh, especially if you can, I can direct your attention to the right hand side. I had a pink doily over there, but I decided that it was kind of not letting the brightness of the rest of the embellishments shine through so I decided to change it into a white so did this blue one this blue didn't match to anything so I decided to take it out too and here I'm writing I'm putting on a little tag to kind of keep the tag theme going throughout the little tag is from the we are memory keepers embellishments as well as that camera the hearts and the and the flower elements the black and white elements are from a Heidi Swamp mink ephemera packet and I just didn't use the foil on it I just left it black and white because I just honestly was too lazy to add any of the foil and I like I was purposely leaving them like that in this is instance because I didn't want any foil and I wanted I actually wanted black and white elements in this so that it because I wanted to use that tag actually that little heart tag uh, in to add the date which is what it's eventually going to be used for I don't show that because I haven't done that yet I'm actually looking for the date to that day so that I can put it in here I use this opaque sticks by Marvi Ukita I hope I pronounced that right it's water-based water-based uh, water-based pigmented marker and I colored these Mementa alpha stickers that I bought at Big Lots a couple of years ago and uh, the really cool part is that the letters are originally like a uh, sparkly brown and when I colored them the, the sparkliness still shine through I don't know if that's because they have glitter which doesn't rub off it I think it's just the texture that they made these letters in and um, one thing that I am going to point out to you is that on my family reading Fun Night and Friends, that's what the title is, I made the second F in fun because I didn't have enough of those Fs. So the swirly goes the, the opposite way and then the other two go in the right way because those are true Fs. Here you can see, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I am putting a camera embellishment there. I was going to bring that, uh, I did bring in that photo all the way over to the left-hand side and I decided to make the tag go across these photos. At first I was really hesitant to put that tag there because I felt like it left a hole. But then I also removed the ampersand that was in, next to that uh polka dot tag and instead I put it over to the far left hand side so here you see me just adding the embellishments I did take pictures of them because I I liked the way that I had you know set them down when I started playing with the photographs the only difference is I think that I had a polka dot the polka dot and the blue tag I switched because the pink polka dot tag was touching the pink washi and I really didn't want that to happen and I had pink embellishments also. So here you see me adding a little few extras. I went through the embellishment pack 
and uh, I did. I just kind of wanted to use it. It needed a little touch of something, and I think it was just that I wanted more wood grain on this paper. Uh, with the camera and the two photo corners, the photo corners look like a darker wood grain, and it just made the perfect addition to my eye. So here you can see that I am showing you close-ups. You will see pictures so that you can tell. I added ribbon and twine to the tags and here you see those little extra embellishments that I used. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and I didn't think that uh, it was going to look great because I thought I needed books or some type of book ephemera or reading ephemera or even a school theme to make this page but uh, just the, the feeling of being happy and evoking that emotion or having fun was all it really needed and I thought in my opinion I think the layout came out great and I had a lot of fun doing it you guys if you have any questions if you have comments I would love to hear from you guys uh, thank you so much I've had an influx of new subscribers and I'm super happy I'm almost at 500 subscribers and I hope to be just you know churning out these videos and just staying consistent and give this video a thumbs up and if you heard the clicking of the pen i am so sorry about that thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video bye